Hello, Sam Owens here, and uh, I've got a product uh, that I've received and used that uh, I'm endorsing and want to show you how it works and why you may need one. It's a digital to analog converter, and I got it on Amazon, and the name of the company is eSync, uh, and for uh, easy for our life so this is a product they produced and I really like it and one of the main things that might interest you is if you have a new digital flat screen TV the TVs of today do not have the audio output where you could just plug your headphone jack into it and listen to the television audio without disturbing other people it's a optical connection now that the uh, audio uh, is uh, outputted. So this device right here, it's out of the package. Uh, it actually converts the uh, optical signal, audio signal, into an analog signal. The optical signal is plugged in at this point and there's a little cover right here and this is the cable that plugs into it and it conducts the optical audio signal from your TV output to this device and to here and then out to your headphones and uh, I'm going to show you that or any other audio device amplifier what have you we'll cover that in a moment I just wanted to draw your attention as to why you need this okay the instruction manual is really well written and a lot of details in there that when you first get it you might want to observe it and uh, there are some things I'm going to tell you ahead of time if you get this you're going to need to go to your TV uh, you might even want to go to the owner's manual that instructs you as to how to uh, output the sound to this audio uh, optical audio output so there are some things you're going to have to do on your TV that uh, is going to make this work so uh, the instruction manual will guide you uh, and uh, help lead you to the area of your TV instructions you need to go so a major part of this if you just hook it up and you don't do anything to your TV you may not get the results you're looking for okay uh, this is what you get it has to be powered up so you have to have a power cord and you get one and you get the optical cable that's going to as I showed you connect from the TV to this device now you don't get an output here so you're going to have to get uh, the connections uh, cable that will get you the output right here left and right out but if you have a headphone jack uh, or headphones that you want a wireless headphones uh, you can use this plug this is what I'm going to demonstrate this would go to an amplifier and I'm going to show you some things later that will clarify this a little bit this video is geared for the person that doesn't have a lot of technical knowledge so I'm going to guide you very carefully and uh, I think I can uh, give you what you need to know to make this work great all right now I'm going to connect up our my headset to this and get it to work and show you how easy this is uh, to accomplish this is the back of my television set and right here this little square is what you're looking for to plug your uh, optical cable in either end will work and it'll only go one way and usually with this little place up one side is smaller uh, the big flat area to the top and you just plug it in and it should snap like that now when you get it plugged in properly uh, you're gonna see see the red light coming out of the end 
That's the audio signal that's coming out of my TV. I've got the audio turned down on my TV, but this output can uh, is producing sound right now because I, uh, I set the settings for that to happen. Okay, I've brought you from behind the TV and I'm going to show you where you connect your um, optical cable. Grab your digital to analog converter and uh, you can clearly see when you orientate it like this. This is the input on this side and this is the output. So you grab the input and you have two inputs. The optical input that we're going to use or you have a coaxial uh, input in case your TV has that type of uh, uh, digital uh, audio. So, you take this again and orientate it where you get this little flat area right there and you can see the signal and you plug it into this. There's a cover right there and when you get this there may be a cover over both ends. You want to pull that off before you attempt this. So, you plug this right into there until you hear a snap and now it's fully uh, connected. So that's what it should look like right there. Optical in. And we on this side we have a uh, DC power. I'm going to hook that up last. I have from my headset that you probably can see right here. Uh, this is the receiver and transmitter right here that is going to transmit to my uh, headset. And this is the cable that comes from the base right here that will plug into here. So this is a primary reason if you want to listen to your TV with your headphones, this is what you need to get. And it's simply a, a matter of plugging this from that into the headphone symbol right here. You don't need this. This would be going to a, um, uh, like an entertainment system amplifier. Okay, the next thing is you're going to have to power this up. This is the power unit that comes with it. It's a, kind of a short cord, so for my demonstration, I, um, I have an extension cord here that I'm going to plug this first into the power point for the converter. Plug her in there and then I plug this in and you see a green light on there and you should see a red power light on the converter meaning that it is powered up and it should be working like that. You don't have to do anything to it it should fully be taking the signal from the TV and converting it to an analog signal, sending it to the base of my headset, and then I can receive the signal on my headset. My t TV is already conditioned uh, to, uh, to activate this uh, uh, optical output for audio. So, I should hear the TV, and I do. And I'm going to let you hear it. Okay, hopefully uh, you can tell it works. Okay, but I've got to show you where, where you need to go uh, on your TV to set these uh, parameters. Okay, this is the screenshot uh, you're seeing on my computer. And I'm seeing the same thing. And this is the product description for eSync, uh, the uh, audio converter, digital to, uh, to audio converter. And this is an excellent uh, diagram to show a simple hookup uh, diagram for you. Notice they're showing the TV input going into their various points. Right here is the uh, uh, optical input 
and this is the coax input. Out here are the two left and right outputs of regular audio going into a stereo system for a amplified sound throughout the house. I have this demonstration of headphones plugged right into the 3.5 phone jack. And coming on down, uh, this is on the website uh, for Amazon, and they show some of the uh, parameters uh, for the unit and uh, what it looks like, uh, what you get in the package, and then the specifications. Uh, if you want to know exactly what the specifications are, they're right here. And this is the thing I wanted to point out. To improve our customers' experience, we posted the following solutions to the common problems. And you will have a problem if you think that you can just pull it out of the box, hook it up, and you're going to get sound. So I'm making it uh, where it's going to be easy and you're going to know um, what to do. Uh, here's one right here. I have a Samsung TV, and they're showing uh, LG TV, and this is the way you gain access to the external speakers, which output. Uh, you go to the device homepage on your TV, and I'm going to demonstrate this. You go to settings, then you go to sound, and you select speakers, and then you select, select optical. So that is what we're going to look at uh, now. We're going to go back to the TV and I'm going to demonstrate this. Your TV may be different, but uh, go to the user manual and it should clearly explain how to gain access to the external speaker output of your TV. So let's go and check that out. Our weather channel and I have the uh, speaker um, turned down low or off down to zero on level so you don't hear anything and now I'm going to show you how to go to your uh, audio output uh, settings uh, to deliver the signal to your audio output so your converter can work uh, and this is the steps you'd go to uh, and this would probably work with most TVs. First, you have to go to your home setting. And right here on mine, I have a home button, and you probably will. You're going to get a screen down here, and your cursor is right about here. You're going to go across with the arrows right here. And you keep going. We're right here, source settings that's the first place you go when that is highlighted like that you hit the uh, select button which is right there in the center of all of these and it'll probably be the same on yours now we're sitting on pictures to to navigate to sound where we have to go and this would be on your tv find sound and then do enter and now here's sound output TV speaker and what I do is I hit uh, the send or uh, the OK button right there and now here are my two selections it's right now setting on TV speaker and audio output optical is not showing now I can use this arrow key right here to bring it down and when I go down I can change the setting from it going to the speakers and only going to optical out. And we do that. And now you see the audio is going to my headset. And if I turn the volume up, I shouldn't be getting any. See, it says audio out optical. So I can't hear anything. All it's doing is going out of uh, my headset and I'm going to check and to hear your headsets you do not have to change the volume of the TV itself because you change the volume on your actual headsets to get the proper level you want now to go back to the TV speakers 
I can go up and click and actually in this setup you can now hear both you can hear the speakers and you hear this also it doesn't shut this off this only made it so that it's only for your headsets or out that optical output so now I can adjust the volume of the TV so everybody can watch TV and hear it and the person that's hard of hearing can listen to the same program with their headset on. Now to get out of this uh, while it's already, uh, yeah, I close it and I'm going to leave it just the way it is. That's the way we like it. And I get completely out by exiting. If you find your exit button you'll be back and then exit one more time and you're back to normal uh, and now you have audio going to your headset and your TV and each person control their level so why do you need this device I think I just demonstrated why you need it you can get your headset uh, to the level you need to hear the program while the other people in the room can hear the audio at the level that they're accustomed to. Everybody's happy.